Um, let us prepare and make some good profits today. Now, big day today, almost a negative 2% day, including the gap down over the week. And now a big part of this is obviously predicated by the bad news of the earnings of Walmart and Home Depot. And subsequently, we have many more catalysts ahead tomorrow as well as on Friday. I talked a little bit about that in yesterday's video. Please watch this if you have not after this video. Very important context to understand about this week. Now in the video, I mentioned something that hasn't happened in three years, right? So uh, firstly, I apologize. I missed it out completely, but I will be sharing about this in today's video. Now, very simply, what hasn't happened in three years is that in a start of a downtrend, we have not tested the 20 day moving average and we kept down of it. Right, The last time this happened, it was more than three years ago because you notice every time when we end the downtrend, the 20 day moving average will always, always be tested right here as well. It will always be tested one way or another. But right now, if you take a look, we gap down from it. We have not tested it as yet. So this is something very peculiar and that's what I wanted to talk about in yesterday's video. Now, another thing, if you watch yesterday's video, I talked about this crossover. It's very important, right? I will be talking a little bit about that today because the market did leave us some very, very important clues today to be taking notes of and paying attention to. Now, Discord server members, please review today's trade setups and analysis. Very importantly, I talked a little bit about this now. If you're having troubles catching a trade in a downtrend, right? It seems simple like this, but if you're having troubles catching a trade, especially when you don't have an open position, I explained it right here. So it's important. Please review today's trades. I explain structurally why it's so much harder to be catching a trade, right? Including one very special trick here, especially when we are hugging at the bottom of this channel here. What implications does that have? So you have to be reviewing today's trade setups. Quite a lot of things to be learning from today. So please do review today's trade setups here. If you caught some of the trades here, fantastic. You have to be extremely patient, especially in a trend day. The biggest enemy in the trend day is yourself because you'll be telling yourself that you have missed a big trade, but not at all. Absolutely not at all, right? You just have to be patient. Let the market present itself to you. And for example, earlier on, right, we managed to see the rejection here of this orange channel, right? And this orange channel right here. Right. If you caught the rejection here, good for you. But if you didn't catch the rejection here, this orange channel turned out to be quite an important level here because we managed to catch the other rejection here of this same orange channel, right? And that only happened almost two and a half hours later after a very, very difficult chop, a slow grind here. Now, there's just absolutely no way you can take a trade here without good risk management maybe several contracts, but if you are trading large contracts, this is something you want to avoid. And I explained it here in trade number four. So please, Discord members, please do review. I explain why very importantly. But thereafter, right, if you caught this orange channel here, this would have turned into a very important clue that we managed to catch because we managed to catch it all the way to yellow 399 as well as the bottom of this same orange channel here. So a trade that you missed right here, two and a half hours later, materialized itself again. So you see, sometimes you have to be focused, stay patient. You cannot be chasing trades here, right? This is where most inexperienced traders will overtrade, get chopped out. And before you know it, by noon time, you would have blown your account. So you have to avoid that, right? But otherwise, quite a very incredible day right here, right? Members who did well are extremely patient, who took your trades and did not overtrade. So it's very, very important that you do not overtrade, especially in a trend day and you think you have missed a trade. You have never, never missed a trade. So now what next? Very importantly, I want you to see this 
particular crossover that could be happening, right? So if you don't understand what this means, please watch yesterday's video. Very important context you have to understand. But this does not signify a downtrend just yet, not especially after a big large red day. And as we are approaching the bottom of the Bollinger Band here, now every time we have some sort of reversal, right? Look, the uptrend here, we have some sort of reversal here. You notice something that the chart will always retest either the five day or 20 day moving average again. And you see how the five day is catching up with the 20 day, right? So you can expect this to start crossing below. And what you want to see is the chart retesting the five day and the 20 day moving average again. Now, don't worry, it will retest, right? Remember what I talked about. We want to be looking at some consolidation, looking at some support that is forming, right? We were mentioning that the possible support will be this pink 399. So the first thing you want to be paying attention to tomorrow is if this 399 pink is being reclaimed by the bulls. Do we start trading above this? And I want to bring another case in point here again once we end this downtrend look at this crossover between 5 day and 20 day right there will always be a retest of the 20 day or the 5 day moving average you don't have to worry about that the 5 day will catch up with the chart as well as the 20 day and this will retest again some way or another maybe here once the 5 day returns so either the 5 day or 20 day it will be retested again before we start to head down. Now, obviously, it will be very dependent on the catalyst events ahead, right? So we have Wednesday FOMC meeting minutes tomorrow, releasing at 2 p.m. Eastern, as well as Friday's PCE report. So these two very important catalysts that we have to be paying attention to. I will be providing more analysis at the start of the day, as I always do, in the Discord server here, right here. So please, very importantly, Discord members do review at the start of the day. I will also be providing providing more guidance on what to expect for the FOMC meeting minutes release. Tomorrow, first thing, watch if 399 pink is being reclaimed. That's what we want to be looking out for. Now I'll be looking out for some structures to be anticipating perhaps a bounce as we near the bottom of the Bollinger and with the 5 day and 20 day still untested since we broke below and there is a need for it to be tested before we start pushing down this has to catch up right so we have to be watching out for that so i will not go puts heavy just yet not especially after a big large red day there will be shorts that will have to cover some profit taking some day risking before the main events for the rest of the week if we were, were to be heading down to break out of this 400 range right so in order for bears to be gathering strength to break out of this key 400 or pink 399 range, right? It will make sense for them to be taking some profits here. It makes sense for them to wait for the moving averages to catch up so that they can retest it again and build strength to back down. But obviously, once again, very much dependent on the catalyst events ahead, right? So the Fed meeting minutes tomorrow is extremely unfavorable. Now, obviously, this will head down further than we we think it will so things like that cannot be anticipated you just have to prepare ahead but technically speaking we want to be seeing whether 399 ping is being reclaimed back up and we see a retest of the moving averages again before we head back down now do watch again yesterday's video i explain very much about the structures we have to be paying attention to now especially the larger macro structure so do watch it to have a certain understanding of the context now thank you very much for watching and i will see you closer to opening bell